Hey everyone, it's Sarah Beth Brown with In The Know at Brown & Co. Thank you for joining. Uh, today we'll be talking about all things watches. I think a lot of people do not realize what goes into making a watch. Um, there's a few different types of movements and then you get into different complications that go into a watch, whether it has a stopwatch function or a second time zone, etc, etc. So I want to give you a little bit of a debrief so you can look at a watch and tell automatically what kind of movement it is. We've talked about two different types of movements, quartz versus automatic. Um, it can be difficult to tell which is which by just simply looking at a watch, but I'm gonna show you uh, a few very easy ways to tell what kind of watch movement you're looking at just by looking at the dial. Um, for instance, on this Shinola, um, the second hand, if the second hand, again, is doing that ticking like this, that means automatically you know it's a quartz movement. If it's doing that really smooth sweeping second, that means it's an automatic mechanical movement. Another way to tell, because some watches don't have a second hand, so that way you can't just look at it and look at the second hand, but you can always look at the case back, um, and if the watch has an exhibition case back, like this one, um, you can actually see the movement and see the winding mechanisms and that way if you see an oscillating weight there you know that it's an automatic which means it is run by the movement of your wrist. It is that energy is, um, is it uses movement to wind itself. Um, but if it doesn't have an exhibition case back you can look at the back of the watch for features such as this one which has these little rivets here and by looking at that you know that case comes off and that's how you replace the battery. That's a very very basic quick explanation of the difference of a quartz movement versus an automatic or mechanical movement. Um, there's so much more that goes into that uh, so I hope that you either one come and visit our In the Know at Browning Company for our next episode or two come see us at the stores. I'd be more than happy to sit with you and talk watches. Um, it's much easier to talk about and explain when we have the watches in hand. So thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.